this video, we're going to look at some of the craftsmen and artisans who make the market fair special. For market fair, it's not just about buying and selling. 18th century craftsmanship is alive and well, and you can see the craftsmen actually building the items that you would have a chance to buy. We're here with Matt Stein, a master furniture builder, and let's meet him and see what he's doing. Hi, Matt. Good morning. What are you making? I'm actually cutting out uh, the tails um, for a dovetailed box. And that, that box will look like this eventually. It'll be a very similar size to this one right here. Um, you can see them um, here in the assembled box. So I'm actually cutting out this board on the box right now. The, the, the pins are on the side, the tails are on the front. Uh, so I've scribed those lines on the box right here. Uh, with a with a knife and now I'm just cutting to the line. So when you come in here and you buy a piece of furniture from Matt, you know it's made by hand by a real craftsman. <laughs> Hi there, I'm here at Fort Frederick. At, I'm Perry Riley Jr. at Mass Green Fine Arts and I'm one of the artisans here. I'm very proud to be here. It's my first year. Uh, I'm doing quill weaving on the rim of a gourd. Uh, it's not just decorative, it's actually functional. It's going to form a bumper and that's going to keep this from getting nicked and cracked. Coil weaving is actually the basic art of basketry. By learning this, humans as tool users are going to evolve to the next stage, which eventually will be basketry. It's a very simple technique. I can control the contour by the placement of the needle as I'm going down through here. I'm doing a simple, like a whip stitch. Any basketry stitch will work. The great thing about gourds are they're very lightweight, they're very durable. A nomadic or semi-nomadic archaeological record generally tells you with gourds that they're moving around quite a bit. I, if it cracks like metal, I can pierce the end and stitch it up, which will then be uh, very functional. There are many excellent custom gunsmiths uh, here at Market Fair. Clay Smith is just one of them. He makes some phenomenal stuff, uh, very traditional. And as I said, there are plenty of guys here, but one person I always like to stop off and see is Alan Sandy, because every year he comes here with something just a little bit unique. So let's take a look at what he has for this year. I'm here with Alan Sandy, who's a uh, beautiful custom gun maker. And last year, we showed you a really fine double barrel English style shotgun he made. Now this year we got something a little bit different. This gun, which is a beautiful early Lancaster style, very traditional looking, flintlock rifle is actually set up with a 1 in 28 rifling twist so you can shoot sabos or real bullets or minis That's and right. it's uh, it's made for modern basically modern flintlock hunting mm -hmm. as opposed to having to shoot round balls uh, with patches and it's a gorgeous rifle so you can look like you're carrying you know an absolute French and Indian war piece and at the same time load it up like a modern muzzle loader Absolutely. If you are purely a traditionalist, there are plenty of gunsmiths here uh, who are of a like mind. And one of my favorites is Tim Williams. I absolutely love his guns. He does flawless workmanship. Uh, they're all beautiful and well balanced. And they are quality and worth every dime. Uh, I've got a, just a little picture of one under construction here some details so you can see exactly how much fine work goes into these things. Well, we're here in John DeWalt's tent, journeyman horn maker, and just an absolute top craftsman. Well, let's take a look at what John's working on now. John, what have you got there? What I have here is a, a, a horn beaker with a bent horn handle attached with horn rivets. Everything is horn, no glue, no pins. And I'm putting a Fractor art design on the cup. And what it is is a couple of distal finks surrounding a hex with tulips on the top and the bottom. And when this is finished, it'll be very similar to this cup here, only it will be done in full color work. What I mean by a little different, it'll be in full color, the same as it is on this salt and pepper shaker. We'll finish off with Robert Moulin. 
he is just as much of a craftsman as the gunsmiths and horners that we showed you, uh, but his craft is music. He's an expert in 18th century music, plays a variety of instruments. He is here at the market fair every year, and he provides a lot of entertainment to us. I'd like to thank the friends of Fort Frederick for once again putting on an awesome event. And I want to thank everybody who allowed me to intrude on their personal space and film them for this year's videos. Uh, I hope to see you all next year and make a lot of new friends besides.